The fully automatic RoboTest P type testing unit has been designed for the testing of hot rolled heavy plates of a material thickness up to about 50 millimeters. The testing unit consists of the following single components. The RoboTest P robotic feeding system for the transport of the specimens to the different stations, the specimen magazine for specimens with a thickness of about 6 to 50 millimeters, the specimen centering station for the alignment of the specimen with the help of the parallel length, the cross-section measuring unit for the determination of specimen width and thickness, the material testing machine 1 for the tensile test of up to 2000 kilo newtons, and the material testing machine 2 for the tensile test of up to 600 kilo newtons. A heavy plate specimen for the automated tensile test runs through the following sequence. First, the operator sorts the specimens into their appropriate places. Then the data of the test series are entered in the computer by the operator. Alternatively, this data can also be transferred automatically from a higher order host computer. The unit is started with the button on the operator panel. The robot takes the first specimen from the magazine and transports it to the specimen centering station. Here the specimen is aligned lengthways so that it is in a centered position in the specimen carrier. Then it is transported onto the cross-section measuring unit. Here the specimen thickness and width is exactly measured with several measurement transducers. Then the specimen is transported to the testing machine for the performance of the tensile test. According to the requirements, in this case, this means the 2000 kilo Newton testing machine 1. First, the fastening devices close. The extensometer is brought into position. The tensile test starts automatically, seen here in fast motion, and it runs until the specimen breaks. Tensile tests with the 600 kilo Newton machine can also be performed in parallel. After the end of the test, both specimen remains are disposed of. This means that the specimen has run through completely and the results of all stations can immediately be seen in the computer and further processed. Manual tests are also possible with the testing system while at the same time running an automatic test. For this, a mechanical block is fixed in the unit and manual tests are performed with the testing machine disconnected from the automation. The machine required by the operator is disconnected with a mechanical block before the robot system. Several specimens are run in parallel within the system. In extreme cases, one specimen can overtake another one within the system. This has a positive effect on the rate of specimens tested. At configurable intervals, the specimen carriers are cleared of the scale on the specimens with an automatic vacuum cleaner. The criteria according to which the specimens are disposed of can be defined independently. For example, depending on the tolerance specifications, the specimens can be sorted into different containers. 
Due to the arrangement of the equipment along the portal axis, enlargement is possible at any time. For example, it is no problem to integrate a hardness tester. With the test system, manual testing is possible at any time. There is no need for retraining, as for both manual as well as for automatic operation, the test expert test software is used. Due to the high positioning accuracy of the automatic testing system, subjective influences are excluded. In the case of manual tests, these can have a negative influence on the quality of the test results, for example because of different users. The traceability of the testing conditions according to DIN ISO 9001 is guaranteed. With the SWIC software Auto Edition 2, an automation module is used which meets the most modern technical requirements. Thanks to the low test costs per specimen, a testing unit with automatic specimen feed pays for itself within a period of about two years. SWIC Intelligent Testing